Okay, first and foremost, before I do anything, do we have any red dots in the area that I should be worried about? Because if there's a red dot nearby, I want to beeline for it. The answer is no. Please name the moon New New Mexico. Ooh, I like that. Discoveries! New New Space Mexico. You knew? No. Yeah, I'm looking for uh, an animal I haven't scanned yet. Because there's only one I'm missing from this planet. There's the, there's the interact point. How's my inventory doing? Ah, it's plenty of space. Okay. Interloper, interloper, interloper. There are three vast columns of word, words in the ancient structure, each written in a different alp of alphabet. The first column's words are like savage runes scratched in the sand. The second shows precise sequences of dots. The final column has wide and welcoming letters, almost appearing handwritten in hard stone. The dirt and blood of ancient handprints cover the base of each column. So savage runes, precise sequences of dots, or wide and welcoming letters. Let's go for interloper. Okay, so we've learned the interloper word for interloper. Awesome. I figure while I'm here, I might as well just focus on on maxing out my inter my knowledge of interlopers. What do we got on this planet? Copper, pyrite, argo drop. Pyrite. Actually don't know if I have any pyrite so far. Get out of here. Okay. So now what do we do? I guess we just head home. I can explore things, but I'm not super keen on that. Any spot I go to is pretty much going to be virtually identical to the one I'm already at. And yeah, I'll keep an eye out for unknown critters. But I'm not seeing anything so far. Come ship. We must alight. Thank. Okay, so what do we go? Where do we go? What do we do? Which, okay, I only have 126,000. We go, we go home. There is, there is, that is not a dome. That's not even a base. It's a shack in the middle of the desert. Looked a lot sunnier. Where's my base? I've lost my base. Where, where is base? There's, there's base. Excuse me, base. Three weeks. Oh wait, no, that's that's Laminus's base, not mine, not mine. Where's home? There's home. Wander, Wanderbot, phone home. There we go. Maybe the last critter is underground. It's possible. Usually they still show up on the scans, though. They're just kind of hard to get to. Okay. Well. Back down we go. Yep, yep, yep. Landing. Landing. Nailed it. I took my hands off the keyboard. It was uh, a mistake. How far away is that? Eh, it's not too far. It's like, do I have to do I have to walk back? I hope not. It looks like I actually gained carbon from just bumping into things and like walking over rocks and stuff. Which is kinda of really funny. Okay. Let's get back home. It looks like there's still the uh 
there's still the the drop pod there, which is good because I want to revisit and boost my inventory space as much as possible. Okay, uh, let's see. So I wanted to get is it equipment? No, it's um equipment. Permanent technology. And we needed ionized cobalt. Oh, I hope I bought enough. I'm gonna be sad if I didn't. Okay. Transfer cobalt. Begin. Okay, this will get me a hundred. That's all I need, and this way I can uh warp to and from uh my crap shack whenever I want. Ideally I'd like to buy Ideally, I'd like to buy, buy, build multiple of these kind of all over the place, but whatever. Hey, my neighbor hasn't come over to yell at me yet. We've been reporting him a bunch for noise violations because the guy won't stop playing his music after 2 a.m. Which is like, even after 11 it's pushing it, but you know, I'm, I'm usually up until like 2 or 3 anyway. But just listening to thump, 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 thump every night is just becoming... Uh, I don't like that. Most people shouldn't. Okay, uh, actually, we might as well just grab what we have. But so the last time we reported him, he got mad at us. Surprise, surprise. And told us to not do it again. Or he'd uh, crank his music up more. I, uh, reported him again earlier today, because I want to sleep. Alright, so now, I should be able to just warp to and from. Please tell me I can just warp to and from that station. Nope. Follow the Crimson Eye. So, I think I, I should have interacted with the previous terminal. Maybe? We'll see. Okay, well, let's grab this. I'm gonna leave that there for a second. Uh, let's see. So, process the salvage technology with a blueprint analyzer. I I did? So, I guess we've got to look for another, uh... We've got to look for another thing. Okay. Well, I've got the signal booster, refiner, and the rest I've got to make. Well, let's try a signal booster and see if... See if there's anything I can specifically, like, scan for. Let's see. Locate nearby structures. Okay, so I found my own base. Thank you? It's not really that helpful. Did I get anything else? A drop bod. Very useful. Want to try that again? Oh, re return to the base computer. So I, I guess I have done what I need to do. Okay. Accessing log from previous user. Additional archives recovered. Entry 42925F follows. Scanner detected unusual repeating 16 the space station. Warning, archives interrupted, emergency broadcast detected. The traveler finds their wings. They fly towards us as they must. You will find us when the time is right. The base computer interrupted its own archive retrieval program to relay an emergency message. But the broadcast sounds like no distress call I've ever heard. Perhaps the message is right. Perhaps it is time to fly to return to space and seek answers to this mystery. Oh, and I can totally pick up the, the the habitable base upgrade thing. Can I pick this up? Oh, please tell me I can just pick up the base terminus. I can't. That kind of sucks. I'm going to leave that there at the very least. Well, I also have a navigation thing, so I'm going to check that real quick. Okay. Navigation data loaded. 
Uh, let's see. Distress, habitable, artifacts, secure. Let's do distress frequencies. I like the new music they've done for this game. I wonder if there's a place where you can buy into the entire No Man's Sky soundtrack. Because I'd love to I'd love to actually listen to that. Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave Crap Shack there with the teleporter. And where'd I leave my ship? See, so don't drop pods, get you spaceship upgrades. Uh spaceship? No. Suit upgrade oh, spacesuit upgrades, yes. The main problem is just um Oh, subterranean relic, like right there. And I bet that's the subterranean relic that I had trouble finding as well. Okay. Oh, cobalt. This has got cobalt in it. Not much, though. I mean, it's some. Uh, I can't wait until we can get a better mining laser. I mean, I have a better one. But I need some of the upgrades, because that's... Arguably only partially worth it. Okay, so where's this thing? Unfortunately, finding the uh, buried tech is, like, actually kind of a giant pain in the ass. Because the moment you get anywhere close to it, it's just like, alright, well, you found it. Uh, even though I had... Like, that, it should not disappear until I have it in my hands. Because we're going to get, like, ten feet away from this thing, and then it's going to be like... Hey, Dinglehop, there's a thing over here. See any new life forms? No, don't see any down there. I actually really want to get this buried tech, and it is, uh... Like, I'm effectively gonna have to, like... Mine out the whole area. Wander life support. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've already lost the hole. Okay, this here's the hole. Because, yeah, the first bit of tech I found was really, really mad easy to get. But it's every other bit of buried, buried technology in the area is just actually kind of impossible. Yeah, I don't see it here. Unless it's, like, much closer to the surface. And I keep assuming these things are, like, deep down. Ow. We should be able to just, like, scoot right out of there. Alright, nope, that's not a new critter. I'm just gonna tear up this whole area. See if I can find it. Because I really do need more of this stuff, it's just... Good luck finding it. Next time I I'm just digging straight straight down on top of the, the thing I need. I need some more ferrite dust. Oh. I should probably actually identify this. Hey, thank you, uh thank you, Desert, for the resub. Seven months is longer than any relationship I've ever had. Aw.
Uh, let's see. Oops. Ah, everything is running out of juice. Honestly, I can probably just use the condensed carbon as well. That's a little bit of ferrite dust. Oh. That's a bit better. Not getting me that much, though. Seriously, though. Wherever this uh, buried tech is, it is... Not cooperating. I'm gonna just head for my ship and see if the uh, the marker will show back up. Carbon crystals. You know, I should actually had uh, head for those. Just for a second. Oh yeah, we need we need oxygen too. Okay. Uh no, you're not new. No amount of view is new. Um Mining beam. Oh, and our terrain manipulator is almost out of juice already. Yeah, let's just uh let's just progress. I want to look. I I really want to find the this like buried tech. It's a, it's a cool idea. What was that noise? Someone like. And apparently, I never scanned this cactus. Oh crap! Took my hand off the mouse, and the mouse just went elsewhere. Okay. Still no new, no new critters for me to scan in the area. Yeah, yell at me if you uh, if you see a red dot ever. Though it might be kind of hard to see on the stream, so I totally understand if that's not easy to do. Anyway, let's get out of here. Uh, let's see. So we want to head for visit the space station and search for intelligent life forms. Uh, let's see. That. Whee! Okay, perfect. Are there digger uh, vehicles I could build? Sort of. There's a couple. Oh, hey! I didn't realize Evac was back in the session. How many people do we have on? Is it still four? Yeah, it's still four. I was really hoping it would be one of those that we could have... Oh. Pulse engines offline. I guess we got some pyrite. Um... I really wish I could have more people in this uh, in this lobby, just so just so we could get everybody everybody together is just kind of a uh, I don't know big thing, a big group thing. Uh, I just like playing multi multiplayer for the sake of multiplayer. Okay. Uh, oh, thank you, Chikira, for the sub. Oh, hey, hi. Okay, asteroids. Forgot I dumped myself out of this. We gotta find some more pyrite or uh, tritanium or whatever that stuff's called. I hate water. What's new? Eh. It's kind of having chill day today. I needed it. No Man's Sky came out at a good time. I was afraid Banner Saga was gonna come out first. So I was like, I'm not ready for Banner Saga. They also have not sent me a press key, so I'm like, N no. You sent me a press key for your first two games. Don't forget about me now. That'd be unfortunate. But if I have to buy Banner Saga 3, I have to buy Banner Saga 3. This is just such a bleak game. I was just like, I'm not sure if I want to do this today. Is my neighbor still playing loud music? Yep. And yelling and slamming doors and stuff. It is, it is a mixture of would like to go to sleep, can't go to sleep. Oh, it's tritium, not tritanium. That would explain things. Anywho. Let's get back in here. Hopefully now I'll be able to warp back and back and forth between my base. Come on, there we go. Let's see, can you join the lobby? I think it's currently full. I I'm not going to be controlling who who comes and goes out of this lobby. Uh, obviously, 
if I'm playing with my friends, uh, like my YouTuber buddies, and we're like actually recording together, I absolutely will. Uh, uh, I will absolutely, you know, try and make space for them instead. Anyway, we were going to right. We we're gonna go test the teleporter now that we actually have the uh, setup. Yelling and slamming doors sounds like a couple of crazies. Uh, just college students, college students with night jobs. Ah. Only available for experienced warp travelers. Once a base is procured, you can teleport to it from a space station. Return to the same space station. So I guess I just have to pro uh, progress the plot. So anyway, guess I gotta ask about the emergency signal. Interloper, interloper, interloper. Repeat the code. Hearing the code seems to cause the life form to shrink. A look of fear crossing their face. And then in an instant, the fear passes. They look at me strangely, but say nothing more. Okay, repeat the code. Same deal. Repeat the code. They're all shrinking away from me. You? We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. The code is echoed back to me through the red glare, transformed into a set of coordinates. The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form glaring at me. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have witnessed it. I should leave and find whatever has been left for me. Okay, can I access you yet? Or do you still hate my guts? Nope, you didn't like it. Alright, later. I guess let's, uh, let's go see about progressing the plot as far as I could go. I thought you could have 16 in it and had 4. Yeah, I don't really know how to crank it up. It's something I can look up uh, within the next couple of days, I'm sure. Okay, so it looks like the place I'm going to is the home. I'm fine with that. Uh, stretching. Oh, today is a day for stretching. Today is a day for sitting back in your chair and being like, bleh. But yeah, no, I my neighbor seems to be kind of just like a fratty type dude. Still wears a backwards cap. Wears like, he wears like muscle tees. But the, the, nope, I'm not going for Soviet Fox. Actually, wait, no. Is that... is that... no, I thought there was a structure. Close to my base. There's also a structure over there. Let's head for the abandoned building for a second. I'm curious to see what this had. But yeah, he's got the kind of muscle tee where you like... It's like a shirt that you've kind of like cut down the sides and whatnot. It looks real, real weird. Doesn't bug me too much most of the time. But I would like to sleep. So whispering eggs. I should probably scan this first. Oh, oh, oh. They're kind of garbage and die real fast. I. Yeah, I need better guns for this, I think. I mean, it's kind of neat. What the? I killed you. Okay. It's officially called an A shirt. Really? All right, can I scan you?
Okay, well, seeing these guys are virtually incapable of attacking me, I'm just gonna pop their setup here. It might do a little bit of damage to me, but if I if I can pick up their stuff, nope, can't pick that up. Or right, whatever, let's get in here. Oh, requires Atlas Pass V1. Well, this is obnoxious. Okay, learn word. We've learned interloper. And we get some projectile ammo. Gonna have to be kind of careful. My health will come back kind of quick. So we've got an idea to be careful. Standing with Viking is increased. Or that stuff. Okay, and it doesn't look like there's anything else here. Swarm subsiding. Oh, that's interesting. So it's uh it's like an event thing. That's not subsiding. Okay, so there there are eggs for these things all over the place. Well, that's fine. I give up. If you sell those eggs, it's worth a ton. Good to know. Larval cores. Okay. Is that the truth? Are they really worth that much? Holy shit! They are worth a lot! You are not wrong. How did I take damage from that? I have no idea. Alright, and oh my god, there's so many of these things. I need a better gun. Probably. Well, that's fine. Come on, pick them up. Pick them up, Chuckles. Up in the ship. Alright. I'm gonna wait until my, uh... Shields. I think my shields actually. I think my shields actually just recover. Okay, run. Ah, uh, I don't. This game doesn't move great sometimes. It doesn't have the smooth movement that I'm looking for from some other games. Well, that's fine. The greedy bot. Hey, but I got the eggs, I think. Storm subsiding. Damage installed technology. Well, that's fine. I don't have any tech that I really care about. And I've got a bunch of these larval cores, which I would say is absolutely worthwhile. Come on, pick it up. Thank you. Do we have more there? No, we don't. We do have more over here. I'm sorry? They can do that? That doesn't fe feel fair. Oh, General Cargo Tech. Oh. I forgot there are slots for that. 
But the fact that these suckers can just walk through structures structures just doesn't That's just mean. Alright, let's pop the bo both of these. Come on, pick them up. Pick them up. Oh. That. That doesn't have any collision. Okay. Well, one way or another, this is worth it. It's just a matter of what? I don't... Hmm. Okay, I'm actually gonna... Probably go to first person for this. How? Great. Thank you. Very helpful. Very helpful, Milestone. I don't care. Milestone's just like, congratulations, you've watched steps. Uh, how do you like dying? And no, I don't. Not really. We gotta kill that guy. Yeah, you can skip those with tab, but you can't skip them when you're when you're sprinting. Probably gonna get hit for this. Nope, didn't. Kind of a miracle. Hey, thank you, GML Bro and Almighty Almighty Rook, for the subs. Okay, so let's let's just get over here. I'm gonna keep hanging out. This is, um, this is actually kind of cool. Ow. Like, I kind of dig the fact that, uh, that you can do this. It's kind of fun, uh, grabbing all these. Can you store these in the ship? Yes, I can. Okay. Fortunately, there's a ton of them. I was hoping to gather them all on one side and get them stuck on it. But unfortunately, they have the... ability, I guess? They have the ability to go straight through this structure. I'm gonna pop all these. get back up before they can harm me. I've supported 50%. Should probably just recharge that. Don't have that much. And yeah, luckily these guys are dumb as brick rocks. Got them both. Got them both. Alright, we flee. Okay. Yeah, each one of these is half a million. Clearing out this base is going to be, make me fabulously wealthy. Pain in the ass. But fabulously wealthy. One. Two. Three. And we escape. And there's like... Tons. All around here. Starship out of range. Oh, that's a pain. Let's see if you can name them. Name them Chupacabras. I can't actually. They don't scan. That was a ship that just went over. The annoying part is killing them just makes more spawn in the immediate area. It's kind of obnoxious because it's it's not like there's a benefit who the what that's got to be a player <laughs> 
Unfortunately, that player's not actually showing up on my, uh... meters at all. Okay. Unfortunately, they're... They're just, uh... despawning, pretty much. Okay, whatever. Well, we're almost done with this. Thank you, uh, mystery stranger that is not actually showing up on my feed. I actually have no idea who is helping me here. Doesn't look like there's actually, uh, any left? Maybe? If not, that's cool. Yeah, it's a player. I just don't know which player. You can probably leave. I don't see any more egg sacs in the immediate area. Huh. Yeah, I guess that's a player not in my party. That's cool. Who is this person? I don't know. I don't know. Because that's Soviet Fox over there. And it's not a vac, he's hiding from sentinels in a cave. Let's see, if they ever became a bother or a troll, can you kick people? I can kick people from my party, but an unlisted player like this. Oh, is this Soviet Fox? Weird, it says you're like a hundred feet over there. Oh, yeah, so I guess it is Soviet Fox. Cool. Yo, thank. I don't know if there's any more of these, like, egg things around, but if you do find them, you're, they're all yours. Uh, that said, I did, I did clear this place out like crazy. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, I see, it's marking your ship. That's what's going on. Um, but, uh, that's a cool couple of million. So was I gonna go? I don't actually, oh, right, right. I was gonna go to the, uh, specific location. Okay, so where am I... where am I going? I'm going over here. Possible distress signal. Yeah, if we're, if we're lucky, uh, they'll, they'll put out some patches with extra data. I mean, so far things seem to be working quite well. Um, as far as performance goes. Like, a little clunky, some desync, but like... This isn't, uh, this isn't Overwatch. You don't really need perfect. See, why do people hate on this game so much? It looks like all the other open-world survival things they usually love. It's because, woo, this is a big one. Oh, it's a freighter. It's because, um, No Man's Sky... It got hyped up by a lot of people who thought it was going to be this big, amazing thing. And when it wasn't, everybody got mad. Okay, log damage, partial records available. The signal has led me to a wreck of a freighter. Colossal fragments of metal stretched across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but the misfired circuits of a long-forgotten run? Nestled among the debris, I found the pilot's log, blinking, awaiting input. Request log. Instead of displaying the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They're followed by a short message. The anomaly comes for the, for the stars. Take flight. A schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message. Take the blueprint. I pulled the blueprint from the computer, but this hyperdrive blueprint for a com is for a conventional starship. Not a freighter of this size. Someone placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be found. Okay. So we got stuff to do. To be fair, one of the people who hyped up the game the most oh, uh, was the game's developer. Yeah, and I will consistently say that Sean Murray is a dumbass. Uh, that should not be in charge of uh, PR, period. The guy made a, a f decent game as far as I'm concerned, but... Uh, oh boy, whoever, whoever put him in charge of the PR branch was... Uh, not doing a good uh, good job. Also, thank you, Adrian DeSwart. DeSwart for the sub. I gotta recharge my... I don't have anything. Um... Got any carbon nearby? This sucks. I'm 
But no, I don't know. It it really is kind of just your classic, basic uh, open world survival game with more exploration, I guess, than than building. Though interesting enough, we're actually starting to get more classic uh, building mechanics pretty quickly here, which is kind of neat. Like I actually, I actually like the uh, the shit shack that I built. Obviously, it's not a very good building, but uh, I love that kind of building system, where you're you're putting down floors, walls, and ceilings. And the original system they had was much more of a, you know, module, 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 and they never like really fit together that well. And you, you could only make like okay looking bases. And I wanted something a little bit more exciting. Let's see, is there a way to check how many subs Wander has? Uh, apart from asking me, I don't think so, actually. Like, I I, I think uh, Twitch specifically hides how many... Uh, how many subs you have, uh, for whatever reason. That said, I can't say I'm terribly disappointed by... Uh, by that kind of setup. It would be it'd be weird if people had like a accurate uh guess on how much money I have. Okay, can I Wait. Oh, did my oh my terrain manipulator broke. Let's see if I can fix that. Need more carbon. So when I died, uh, my terrain manipulator uh, got busted. Whoopsie. Okay, so we still need more carbon, though. Uh, let's see. This is a good game, but I still haven't seen the giant anim animals like promised. I know! That's actually, uh, honestly, the thing that I want the most. Um is I would really love to have giant, giant like walking critters, uh, giant flying critters. Like, I really want space whales. Every single time they update this game and I, I see that there isn't a new space whale, I get kind of disappointed. Because I want space whales floating above me. Being like, Brrr. and maybe trying to eat my ship as it flies by. I don't know. Because, yeah, there are some big critters, but I want to see, like, big critters. I want to I wanna land on a planet and have it be EDF. Oh, inventory space is full. That it is. All right, let's discard some of these things. I don't I don't need all that. Okay, uh, let's see. Make the carbon nanotubes. Why not space bees? Because... Because EDF. Planet needs giant spiders. I mean, honestly, I would not actually appreciate having a giant spider uh, attack me while I'm playing this game. But I will admit it would be kind of rad. Oh, you can't you can't charge the mining laser uh, when you don't have it equipped. That's different. So yeah, we've got a bunch of cargo pods over here that I kind of want to deal with. First question is, how much space is left in my starship? The answer is not much. I do have a Viking effigy that I can transfer over there. Is that a range? What? It's right here. What is EDF? Possibly one of the goofiest games I've ever played. I really like it. Let's see. Anything else I can do here? Got like a little bit of oxygen left, but I shouldn't get rid of it. Tritium, chlorine, platinum. Well, we don't need the we don't need the platinum. Honestly, how much is this silver worth? Three thousand? Nah. Chlorine, chlorine is worth money. Gold, not actually worth that much. 